Today I'm going to share my technique with you for making motion blur and using the tween class. The tween class, not to be confused with tweening, this is using the tween class. The first thing we're going to do is basically change this logo. Right now this logo is just moving across the page. What we want to have happen is we want the logo to have movement or movement. So what I'm going to do here is unlock the layer. I'm going to go to here, hold down the control key, and remove the tween. Then I'm going to take this entire frame here. I'm going to terminate this information from here to here by holding down the shift key. So if I select here, hold down the shift key, hold down the control key on Macintosh, or right click, and I'm going to remove frames. So these frames are totally gone. So I just want to extend that to be F5. F5. So what I'm doing here, I'm converting a classic tween to a motion tween. Converting a classic tween to a motion tween. So I select this keyframe. Could it say create motion tween? Now motion tween still requires a next keyframe. So I'm gonna put my next keyframe here by hitting F6. Now of course I need to move this. So here's the option. Here's the, the logo in frame one. Here's a logo in frame 10, so I'm going to move this down to the left. Now, there's a really cool free extension that does something called Motion Blur. It's free, I'll tell you how to get there. You can just go to thinkflashactionscript.com forward slash motion blur. So I'll post it in a text file as well. So how to do this, we select the keyframe, we go to the commands menu and pick Motion Blur. Now, if you remember in our last series of videos, this was a graphic symbol, okay? Motion Blur requires you to convert this to a movie clip. Now, Motion Blur will do this for you, or we can do this for ourselves. We can go to the library, select the graphic, hold down the control key, go to properties. So we're gonna change its properties from a graphic symbol to a movie clip symbol. Okay, now if this is the case, we should technically change its name because it's not graphic, it's a movie clip, so MC logo. So I went to properties to do this and I hit OK. Now, the other thing that's important to understand is in the property palette, in the property palette, it's still a graphic. We need to make this a movie clip. We need to make a movie clip here and movie clip here. Okay, it doesn't have to have an instance name because we're not talking to the action script. Make a change, save a change. So now when I come back up here, go to, go to the commands menu, motion blur. So we're going to say intensity very high, quality high. And so watch what happens here. Command return. I get okay, nice motion blur. See that? Motion blur. Command return does a nice motion blur. So it adds some nice features to your site, makes it look more enthusiastic, more enthusiastic, more engaging. Okay, so let's make one other change. The client said, well, we forgot to put the name of the site in here. This is just how the logo goes. How do I put the name of the site in there? Well, we can simply double click, make sure the layer's unlocked here. We can double click. This puts us in the timeline of that movie clip, the timeline of that movie clip. So what we're gonna do here, it just takes some text and we're just gonna put in here the site, which it is, <clears throat> we can actually copy and paste, but I'll type think flash action script.com. Now, of course, this is way too big. So I'm gonna make this simply black. So let's just make this black. Let's make this considerably smaller. Now, this doesn't have to be a dynamic text box. It can simply be a static text box. And we put that right there. So n now, if I save the changes, it's going to nudge it over a little bit. In fact, let's all this to the left. So now, if I save the changes and command turn, it takes the whole text and moves it over which means we need to move this whole thing up. So let's make this whole movie clip smaller. How do we make the movie clip smaller? 
on the stage. A simple way to do this is to select the movie clip in Command Option S. Command Option S basically is the scale rotate dialog box on Windows that be Control Alt S. So let's make this 80%. And let's not just up one, two, three, four, five, six times. Then go to my head keyframe. Do the same thing. Command Option S, 8%. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm doing this because I don't want to have to reinvent the wheel and build it from scratch. I'm just showing you a simple example here. So, now if I commit turn, it comes in with the blur motion. Motion blur, very cool technique. Okay, so I'm going to share with you a super cool power users technique using what's called the tween class. The tween class basically can talk to movie clips and get them to move on the stage without using the timeline. Without using the timeline. So I'm going to give a couple examples of this. So first of all, the first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to import the tween class. Now, this is telling you that the tween class transitions folder and there's a file called tween inside your MX folder, which is in your applications folder. I don't want to go into big detail with this, but I just want to share with you how this, how this system works. So as an example, I'm going to simply copy and paste some code that I'm going to put on the stage. Okay. So I have something called var, and the var is basically going to change the x position, which I'm going to change that to x. POS. This can be called whatever you want. Then I'm going to put a movie clip on the stage called my MC, and I'm going to move it across the stage, starting with zero and going to five, going to 200 pixels in five frames. Now, our base rate for this file, command J, is 10 frames per second. So I'm going to set my base rate to 10. Now, how's that going to help me? Well, if this word here says true, then this becomes seconds. If it's false, it becomes frames. So this way, this is going to work in one second. If I want it to be one and a half seconds, I could actually say 10 times 1.5. Okay? Or I can just make 20. So in this particular case, the first thing I'm going to do here is create a simple movie clip. So I'm going to go to my timeline, and I'm going to put this movie clip right here inside this folder. We'll call this tween class movement. Okay, so I'm going to put a movie clip right here. So I'm just going to create a simple movie clip. Do this and this and that and this and that and this. I'm going to select the whole thing. So select and F8. F8 converts to a symbol. So I'm just going to call this MC tween me. MC tween me. Now, if I use the same code that I have here, I would have to call this my MC. So we're going to call this my MC. So select this, come up here and call it my underscore MC. This way this code is now going to talk to that instance name. If this was called my MCs, it wouldn't work. I'll explain how this stuff works in just a second. Make a change, save a change. So what's going to happen now, without the timeline, this little movie clip here is going to move across the stage. So it start at zero and it moved to 200 pixels. So it started at zero, which was over here, even though this is physically here. Now if it's less confusing for you, we can put this off the stage. So now I can have this go. I'm going to take this tween, this tween, basically start from zero and let's go to 450 pixels and I'm going to have this happen in two seconds. I'm going to say 10 was my base rate, 10 frames per second. False means frames. True means seconds. So as an example, if I change this to true and I play this, it's going to take 10 seconds to move across the page. You're going to bore your viewers to death. So we don't want to make it 10 
seconds, we want to make it 10 frames. So we're going to make that false. So we want this to happen in two seconds. So I can say 10 times 2. Met turn. So in two seconds, it moves. Now, this information here is basically getting its information from the class structure. This can say strong bounce uh, uh, n n none. Okay, so what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to put the options that I can put in here for my tween class. Now, if I run this code right now, I'm going to get a page error or uh, the actions could be errors. I want to code this out. So I'm going to just click here and that's going to code out multiple lines of code. So this can be changed now to experiment with this. If you change this around, it's going to do different things. So if I change that to double click elastic, watch how this works. So it's going to come elastic. See, it has an elastic organic movement. Now this can be changed to ease out, ease in, or ease in out. Now if I do that, I have to do with camel case, make sure it's blue. So now it's going to ease in, it's going to start at zero pixels. It's going to go 450 pixels over. It's going to take two seconds. So notice it eased in, but then it eased out because I have both of those parameters. If you simply wanted to simply ease out, then just change that to out, command return. Pretty cool stuff, huh? So you can apply this to a button action. So basically when I click here, I can have these graphics use the tween class. We'll do this in another exercise, but I just want to share the concept of using the tween class. So let's add to this. Okay, so let's add a few more changes to this. So I'm going to take the same line of code. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to return key, paste. I'm going to change this to X. Let's change this to X rotation. Or I'm sorry, let's change this to R position for rotation position. Then we're going to change this to underscore rotation. Now rotation happens between what and what? Rotation happens between 0 and 360. So we're going to say 720 and we want this to happen at the same frame rate at two, basically 2 seconds, 10 frames per second times 2 because it's false. If this was true, this would mean this means seconds, but it's false, it means frames. False means frames, true means seconds. So I'm going to change this to bounce. And change this to ease out and keep this, I'm sorry, keep that ease out, have this ease in. So watch what happens now. I've applied both the X position plus rotation, and it's going to rotate two times because 360 times 2 is 720. Pretty cool. So you can get some very organic movement to your movie clips by talking to them through the tween class. The things that are required, you have to have the tween class imported. That should be your first line of code. Then you can basically set up variables. This can be called anything you want to be called. This, you have to talk to that particular movie clip. So you can change the X position, the Y position, the X scale, the Y scale, alpha, et cetera, et cetera. So the first set of numbers is the starting, the ending, the time, and whether or not the time it's in frames or seconds.